Here are some important tips for cyclists. To help cyclists navigate, look for pavement markings along the route. Green pavement markings, sharrows, bike dots, and green bike boxes. Bike boxes allow cyclists to position themselves in front of vehicles at intersections. Whether you are turning left, right, or going forward, using the bike box allows cyclists to be more visible. The bike box also aids in turning safely, crossing over the tracks and street. Cyclists have two options to make a left turn, a two-stage left and a vehicular left. For a two-stage left, the cyclist arrive from the bike lane and proceeds forward to the far side of the intersection. With a pivot, the cyclist faces towards the intended direction, pauses, and then moves with the next phase of the traffic signal, crossing the track safely at as close to a right angle as possible. To make a vehicular left, the cyclist approaches the intersection, checks to ensure that all is clear, signals, then crosses over the track at as close to a right angle as possible, yielding to oncoming traffic and obeying traffic laws and signals. Other street markings designed to guide cyclists include bike dots, and green pavement markings. Sharrows, or shared lane markings, have two benefits. They help cyclists position themselves safely within the lane, and they alert motorists to the presence of cyclists in the same lane. Remember, a sharrow indicates that a lane is shared. It does not mean that a lane is dedicated to cyclists. Bicyclists traveling between traffic and parked vehicles along the route should be aware of the door zone. The door zone is created when a driver in a parked car opens his or her door into your travel space. Streetcar track can be a challenge to ride alongside and to cross for anything with wheels. Bicycles, wheelchairs, motorcycles, scooters. Front tires sliding on the smooth track surface and wheels dropping into the track gap are common causes of bike mishaps in the streetcar environment. Meeting the track at anything but a 60 to 90 degree angle can cause your wheels to drop into the track gap. When negotiating corners on your bike, it's natural to lean into your turn. But this means less grip on the road just when you need it most, crossing a rail. Try to approach tracks as upright as possible, perpendicular to the rails. Keep in mind that near some streetcar stops, and at some intersections, the tracks move over to hug the curb, which can lead to an otherwise avoidable squeeze. A little wobble here can lead to big trouble. Sometimes, it may be best to take an alternate route. Let's recap what we learned. Avoid the door zone. Position yourself in the roadway at a distance from the track and from parked cars. Control your speed. Use green bike boxes. Cyclists have two options for left turns. Cross tracks as close to a right angle as possible. For more safety information, visit the streetcar website at sunlinkstreetcar.com. Get Streetcar Street Smart and get ready for the ride.